Antron Brown getting ready to roll in here next. The Matco Tools. Take them for a six-month test drive. Sirius XM Radio. FVP Batteries. And over on the right side is Leah Pruitt. Leah flying the colors this week of Renai Tankless Water Heater. Part of that Tony Stewart racing team. You know, Corey, it occurs to me, now that you're a seasoned funny car driver, and, you know, Coletta only has one funny car and two top fuel cars, and, you know, RevChem thinks that they need to expand their footprint a little bit. I mean, I can put that all together. I guess you never know what might happen, Alan. Yeah. You know? Ooh, yeah. I mean, I'm here to do some business, but some B2B for them. And and obviously, they got a great thing going on with the Colorado oh, family. Yeah. And now they're on Ron Cap's car as well. So they're definitely expanding their footprint. So no Corey Mack-driven RevChem funny car as part of Colorado Motorsports? <laughs> Not that I know of at this time. But I'm working on stuff all the time. You know that. Chasing that money is a hard thing to do. I'm going to put it on the internet because if, if once on the internet, it's got to be true. Oh, right? yeah. No, it's got to no be question. true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it's on Facebook, it's got to be true. It's on the internet anywhere. It's got to be true. And Tron Brown. Working with Brian Karate again. Mark Oswald, Brad Mason. They kind of put the band back together. We're looking forward to getting another championship. They had quite a run last year through the countdown to the championship. Ending up in the number two position behind Brittany after one of the wildest days in top fuel racing. Out in Pomona where we all had our brackets filled in going, man, this semifinals is going to be the highest pressure thing ever. And then by lunch it was over. <laughs> it's like, oh, look, that didn't work. No, there goes my pick. And for Leah, they've had some rotating major sponsors on the side of that car. But Leah's had herself a really good car all year long. Been in the top five in points most of the way. Haven't spent as many times in the winner's circle as they'd like to have, but I think that's a car that really could uh, really could hurt some feelings here in the countdown of the championship. Yeah, one of those cars that, you know, we talked about funny car, the whole Chad Green uh, experiment and the way that that's come along. But Leah's team has consistently been able to step up and run big numbers. They won in Norwalk. They've been close to winning a couple other times this year. Neil Strasbaugh is certainly not afraid to stand on it, and that's a team that has all the parts and pieces they need to come out and win races in the countdown. Well, the cool kids are hanging out in the 360s, uh, and there's only three of them there so far. Are we going to add some more cool kids here? You can answer that if you want to. I think so. Corey? With the weather the way it is, they can throw down right now. Not going to be Antron. Well, not going to be Leah either. 371. She went 370 last night. 371 tonight. Only 314 miles an hour. Leah's car was running pretty good down there to the eighth mile. She was sub three seconds to the eighth. Almost 294 miles an hour. And I'm not sure if something happened or down at the end, but it certainly quit before the finish line. Well, watch Leah's look. car. And Antron puts a cylinder out very early, and they clicked him off in the starting line. But Leah's car starts dancing about 700 feet. It's moving the tire pretty good there. And right here, she clicked it off just a little bit early, and that might have been the difference. She did not click that thing off. It pitched the belt off of it, no doubt about it. We'll take another look at it maybe. Let's hear from Joe first. Down here with Neil Strasbaugh. Neil, everybody is analyzing the run. Seems a little perplexing out there with the performances. What say you? Yeah, no, uh, we should have ran better last night than what the numbers uh, than what the numbers resulted. So we came up, pushed on it today, but yeah, I will, uh, we'll have to go back and analyze that. Should have ran a lot better. Neil, look at the screen up on the top of the grandstands. It's closer. We're going to watch this again, but watch the butterflies are still open and the pipes go wet before it got to the finish line. So we either pitched the belt off of it or something else in the blower drive. Just watch the butterflies. It quit there, yeah, great and the butterflies eye. close there. Great eye, yeah, absolutely. Not just another pretty face. Still waiting for the first person to come and tell me that you were the pretty face. Go ahead, Corey. You were dying to say something. I could tell you were. <laughs> I can't even respond. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll, let, I'll just let it go. <laughs> all year you've been saying that, and all year I've been waiting for somebody to come tell me you were pretty. And 